हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू टुडे लेक्चर्स टाइप्स ऑफ बायोफिजिकल टेक्निक्स वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द बायोफिजिकल टेक्निक्स व्हाट इज बायोफिजिक्स व्हाट इज बायोफिजिक्स मींस द इंटरडिसिप्लिनरी साइंस दैट यूज द मेथड्स of physics to study biological systems and biophysical techniques methods used for gaining information about biological system on an atomic and molecular level they overlap with methods from many other branches of science so biophysics is not a single subject it is a interdisciplinary subject the combination of biology physics and biophysics biochemistry and chemistry these are the combination subjects combined to form a biophysics before going to discuss about the biophysics in detail you will now you will discuss about some types of biophysical techniques the first one biophysical techniques is itc isothermal titration calorimetry what is the main purpose of the isothermal titration calorimetry measure the heat effects caused by the interactions especially in protein second one is method is chromatography the various techniques from this field or used for the purification and analysis of biological molecules and the other one by a technique is cellular no no sorry circular dichroism cd method to measure chirality of a sample using circularly polarized light this technique is this technique is no, no sorry this this technique is commonly see here this technique is commonly used for determine the protein structure and especially secondary structure of proteins okay and third fourth one technique is electron microscopy used for gain high resolution images of subcellular structure and proteins so electron microscope best examples are the sem and tem okay and fifth one by a physical technique is fluorescent spectroscopy what is a fluorescent spectroscopy means for detecting structural arrangement has well has interaction of biomolecules okay and that sixth one technique is fluorescence force spectroscopy force spectroscopy what is force spectroscopy means probes the mechanical properties of individual molecules and macromolecular assemblies using a small flexible cantilever focused laser light and magnetic field the best example of force spectroscopy is afm atomic force microscopy atomic force microscopy is the high resolution of spectroscopy especially used for to the protein structures surface structure trophology and morphology of these samples and the seventh one technique is gel electrophoresis deter me determines the mass the charge and the interaction of biological molecules these are the main concept of the gel electrophoresis the eighth one technique is mass spectroscopy techniques that gives the molecular mass with great accuracy that is concept of mass spectroscopy and ninth one nmr spectroscopy nuclear magnetic resonance spectroscopy methods for measuring the local environment of atomic nuclei it a sample can be used to 
derive both structural and structural and kinetic information of proteins and small molecules it is also provides information about the exact structural of biological molecules as well as on dynamics right the 10th one technique is x-ray crystallography what is external crystallography means the method of determine the exact structure of molecules with atomic resolution the 11th one is very important that the most commonly used that advanced technique spr surface plasma resonance spectroscopy surface plasma resonance spectroscopy is the resonant acceleration of conduction electrons at a interface between negative and positive formative material stimulated by incident light it is used for the adsorption of materials to a planar metals gold and silver or surface okay and that next one technique is bio layer interferometry bli bio layer interferometry is a label free technology for measuring for measuring bio molecules interaction it is a an optical analytical techniques that anal analysis the interference pattern of white light reflected from two surface i draw here see graph relative intensity versus wavelength so blue line it is indicate the one surface of the layer and red is the another surface of the layer so these bli techniques means bilayer interferometry techniques to at a time you can reflect the two surface layers that is the benefit of bli techniques and the last one is dsc dsc means differential scanning calorimetry dsc is a thermoanalytical techniques in which the difference in a amount of heat required to increase the temperature of the sample and reference is measured as a function of temperature both the sample and reference are maintained at nearly at the same temperature throughout the experiment this is a special feature of differential scanning calorimetry dsc analysis is a design such as that the sample holder temperature increasing linearly has a function of time the reference sample should have a well defined heat capacity over the range of temperature to be scanned that main concept application of the dse i wrote here measurement of absolute heat capacity suppose the protein you want to measure the absolute heat capacity by using the dse and next one is a equilibrium folding mechanism the protein equilibrium folding mechanism you can find out by dse techniques and next one fast protein folding technique how protein will folding the folding rate will be determined by the dsc and next one is protein stability protein stability also will can be studied by the dsc techniques and next one complex samples like uh, complex samples for analysis like amyloids means fiber forming like uh, lysosome proteins and uh, myoglobin proteins will form a fibers those types of fiber structures or complex samples can be studied by the dsc difference in scanning calorimetry so from these two i can conclude my lectures and next you will discuss about by organic chemistry right and if you like this video please click the like button and please subscribe thank you to everyone